And here I have a Forstner bit. It's quite large and I'll show you how to sharpen it. We start off by sharpening this area of the cutting blade. You want to make sure you get this point all the way to that point cleared. And you can easily get clearance with the Ninja disc. I'll simply use a ceramic 120 grit. I don't have a cushion on it. And I'll hold it right here at the back of the heel and lift up and shove it in just a little bit. And then I'll drop it. So here you go. Just hold it right here. Lift it up. And shove it all the way in. Yep, there we go. Oh wait, one more time. There we go. Now, I want to show you how cool it is. I'll touch it with my pinky. The Ninja Disc keeps your tools cool, even at 5,000 RPMs. Now, it's nice and sharp. However, I have a burr at the end. And to take this burr off, we simply use our one micron polishing wheel. This will remove the burr without killing the sharp edge that you just created. So I'll go up and just polish it. And for those who believe that the burr should be left on, it actually reveals a sharper edge and it'll give you a cleaner cut without tearing the wood. So here we have a smoother surface and a sharper edge has been revealed. Now, to get those pesky edges, I'll go ahead and darken these and show you how quick it is to sharpen them because they really get messed up. And not only these tips, but the outer edges as well without reducing or changing the diameter of the Forstner bit. So again, I'll pop on the 120 grit ceramic again with no cushion and I'll hold it at the edge and lift up and drop. So just a really light touch. You can see what's happening. There's one. There's two. There's another one, and hell, we'll do one more. Now, they're nice and cool. Really sharp. Wow, better than factory. And to address the outer part, I'll just grab one of the finer Trizac abrasives. This is a 10 micron, about a 1500 grit equivalence. And I'll just hold it right here and roll. A little lollipop. So you just hold it here, hold it all the way across, keep going, and what I did is not only smooth the outer part, I actually sharpened that other inside part of that tip. So now this Forstner bit is going to cut like no other, nice clean cut. And you'll have this Forstner pit forever.